Excellent. What up, it's your buddy Incredible Man. And yes, I am back at it again. And this is Bill and Ted Face the Music Movie Review, man. This movie was legit and I loved every single part of it. It was straight boss, man. Warning, if you haven't seen the movie, you should go watch the movie because I am going to spoil some stuff. Let's get it, man. You guys know the premise, man. Bill and Ted had to find the ultimate song to unite the world. And watching the movie, we learned that they also have to find the perfect song to save reality from folding in on itself. And overall, dude, there were some moments that I didn't really like out of the movie, like certain characters that I didn't enjoy. Um, but overall, it was a very nice, it was a very nice movie. Um, I love the fact that that's the premise that we're stuck on. And we start the movie off seeing Bill and Ted um, doing a wedding. And we find out that they've been doing the same thing for 25 years. They've been trying to find the perfect song. They've been in some slumps. They, they, they're they just stuck in a rut. And it's weighing heavily on their marriage. After the wedding, we see that they're going to couples therapy. And the funny thing is, is like that was a funny moment within itself. But the funny thing is, is their wives are a little tired of them you know going through these motions with them trying to find the perfect song to save humanity they know about it because we all know the story with their wives and everything about them being princesses and them time traveling so they know the whole deal and the whole ordeal about what bill and ted have to do but at the same time it's weighing heavily on the wives and that's something within itself and there's some morals to be tied in there somewhere with them stuck in the same place for 25 years. I'm going to make it. I'm I'm going to I'm going to get there and I have, you haven't gotten there yet. It's time for you to change your goals or your dreams or something. I'm just being honest. Um but they're trying and nobody's really believing them except for their wives and their children because they know. So that's what we're stuck with the whole movie. Now, we also see this entire movie that Bill and Ted keep going in the future trying to find the perfect song because uh, the the great elder lady told them that, you know, hey, you guys have to find the song or the world is in danger. So they keep going to the future to find <laughs> to find the song for themselves. <laughs> and they just keep coming into these horrible versions of themselves where their wives actually left them. Then we see that their wives are time traveling in the movie as well. So it's fun. We don't never actually see them have an adventure or anything. We just see them here and there. Like they would miss Bill and Ted a couple of times on their actual journey. Um, but while we have Bill and Ted, that's what the movie was supposedly uh, focusing on with Bill and Ted finding the perfect song, going into the future to take the song for themselves. We see them going back and forth between them and their kids. So we end up getting introduced to Bill and Ted's kids, which is Bill and Ted or Billy and Theodore or Theodora. So um, they're having a journey at the same time that their dads are having an, having a journey. And we see that that's the parallel that we're stuck with between the movie. And we also understand that from the other movie, it's a possibility that Bill and Ted were ne was never actually meant to write the song. And it plays out throughout the entire movie where you're kind of questioning it since like they can't ever really find the song. There's like, well, are they meant to play it? And you kind of figure it out because, I mean, it's not uh that uh plot heavy but you figure it out that eventually their daughters are the ones that actually write the song and the funny thing is um they end up uniting some of the coolest musicians throughout history and of course they threw my boy kid cuddy in there man so it was absolutely really legit and i loved it because at the same time we have bill and ted um, on this side of the screen going through their whole little ordeal and that's and that's playing to the nostalgia getting you making you relive um, the first two movies and getting you uh, excited for Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves back as Bill and Ted. So it's giving you those nostalgia vibes and it's giving you something refreshing and, and, a, and a new take with these old characters. But then on the other side, we see that their daughters are having the same kind of adventure Bill and Ted had in um, Accident Adventure and Bogus Journey. So we see that they're both having these storylines take place and they handled it semi nicely. It wasn't uh, taken away from Bill and Ted or their daughters. So you can kind of focus on what's going on between both situations. And then they throw in the robot, which kind of just throws everything out of whack for me. And I, he has some funny moments, but I feel like the robot was one of those few scenes 
like when he showed up in every time here and there is one of the moments that I feel like didn't have to be in the movie, but it tied so heavily in and then they brought death back and that was a huge nostalgia vibe. But we see Kid Cudi, a drummer from um, China, no, Africa, uh, flautist from ancient China. We have Jimi Hendrix, Louis Armstrong. So like there's a huge musical cast tied into this and they still got my boy Kid Cudi. So I really enjoyed the movie and but at the end of the movie, we actually see that everything is resolved and their daughters are the ones that's actually ended up saving the universe along with their father. So it didn't just cut Bill and Ted out completely. It kind of included them back into the movie as a whole. But I love the fact that they kind of just left that doorway open. Um, they, they gave you everything they could with Bill and Ted for for us older people and nostalgia people. But then they kind of left the door open with um, Billy and Theodora to like, if they ever wanted to make another movie with the girls, they could because that door is open now. And I'm not upset now. I don't know how they would do holding their own movie. We'd have to see, but tied into this one with um, Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter, they done a pretty good job. Uh, Samara, Samara Weaving and um, I know the other girl's name. I looked it up before I done my review. Uh, it'll come to me. But um, overall, I really enjoyed it. And I think the characters played their role perfectly. And I really enjoyed it. The nostalgia radar was just like high this uh, in this movie. But I'm not upset because I ended up enjoying the whole movie. And at the end, everything was resolved. They got their wives back. Their wives are actually happy with them. So it just was a nice, fun movie. You didn't have to think too much. You can just sit down, watch it, and enjoy it. And overall, it was just a nice movie. If I had to rate it. I give it a, I, I give it a six out of ten, and I don't give it higher because a few moments throughout uh, the movie that I didn't really like, and then the robot, the, the robot just really ruined it for me. I don't know. I enjoyed death. I enjoyed uh, all of the other musical character and guests that they had, and the song was nice, and I enjoyed Billy and Theodora and seeing Bill and Ted and their wives. It was all great. I just the robot was a deterrent for me. But overall, I, re I really enjoyed the movie. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and tell me if you enjoyed it yourself. If you've seen it, how did you like it? How did you love it? I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below. Um, This is your buddy Incredible, man. Don't forget to smash the like button until you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. But only if you really want to, man. Peace out. I ain't taking a backseat, I'm passing Anybody else who is rapping, I'm nasty Ain't nobody able to catch me, they gasping They cannot compare, they can't match me, I'm an ass beat I